If you have acne or acne prone skin, then you know that there are a ton of how to's and home remedies and what have you out there in the world today to say that they will help you clear up your skin. So what about baking soda? Because that's one of the most prevalent ones that we see. Does it work? Will it burn? Is it harmful? Well, I'm gonna give you the answers to whether baking soda can actually make a difference in your acne condition, how to use it, and some great alternatives in this video, so keep on watching. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Chris Gibson, and this is Chris Gibson Live, where we help you look good, feel good, and live good. And those of you who follow me know, absolutely without a doubt, that if it is a natural, alternative way that works, I'm all for that. That's for health, weight loss, skincare, all the things that I write about and have talked about. If you can do it naturally, I'm all for that. So it's no surprise that baking soda comes up as a clearing mechanism or a treatment for acne. It's all natural, it's easy to get, and it has a background and a history or a rep, as you might say, of helping to clear up all kinds of skin conditions like hives uh, and soothing things like poison ivy. So acne, right? It should work. Well, the answer to that is yes and no. You see, baking soda does soothe the skin and remove redness and calm down inflammation. That's what it's known for doing. So on a current breakout where you have bumps and it's red and inflamed, it can make some difference. The problem is, is that for the long term, it doesn't address the things that trigger acne breakouts. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk about what triggers acne breakouts and give you some links at the end of the video for videos that I've done on that. But for baking soda as a treatment, there are a couple of ways that you can use it that actually can be temporarily effective and help kind of calm it down while you work on finding out what is triggering your acne. The first way is a mask. It's super, super simple to do this. You just need baking soda, uh, some face wash, hopefully you're using my face wash, but any face wash that's your favorite, and some water. And you're gonna take one to two teaspoons of baking soda to one fourth teaspoon of face wash. You're gonna add a little water and you're gonna make a paste out of that and you're gonna apply it to your skin for 15 minutes and then rinse it off and pat it dry. The preferred way I would have you do this, and this is the other way that you can use baking soda on acne breakouts, is more of a scrub type scenario where it's basically the same thing, one to two teaspoons of baking soda, for the teaspoon of your favorite face wash, and no water this time, so we're gonna have a thick, sticky, kind of gritty paste. You're gonna apply that to your skin with your fingers and gently massage it for one to two minutes before you rinse it off. And the reason this is so helpful is it actually breaks down the sebum on the skin and it removes oil, bacteria, and dead skin cells. For as, so as a skin scrub, it also can calm the skin, but it could also help you clear up some of the things that are triggering your acne breakouts. Now, one of the things you must do after doing either one of these treatments is make sure that you apply a light moisturizer. You wanna re-moisturize the skin. Baking soda can be extremely drying. It changes the pH on your skin, and you don't wanna have flaky dry skin from this, or you wanna make your breakouts worse and more irritated, and using it too often and too much it can do that. So be sure you do moisturize after you rinse those, either one of those uh, methods off really, really well. Now, if you're finding the information in this video helpful, please hit the like button and by all means, let me know how it works for you in the comments. I always watch, I <laughs> always read the comments to see how things are going and I get a lot of my ideas and questions for these videos from there. So please, by all means, do that. That said, I have some great all natural alternatives that I wanna share with you right now that will work to help you clear up acne as well as calm it down. The first is apple cider vinegar. You can apply apple cider vinegar as a toner at night before you go to bed, and it can make a huge difference in your skin's health and the way you, your skin handles breakouts. The other thing is you can use tea tree oil, which I talk about all the time, for spot treatments. It really helps speed heal anything going on on the skin, whether that's a cut, a scrape, it's antifungal, it's antibacterial, and it goes a long way to help give clear skin to most all of my clients. The other two things that you can do immediately that can make a big difference in your skin is a food vacation. And I did this myself, talk about it all the time. And the first thing you can do is take out any refined sugar or starches, and that means no cakes, no candies, none of those things, and only eat wholesome vegetables and fruits. 
Do this for a week or two and see the impact it has on your skin. A lot of people are also taking dairy out, especially altered dairy like the 2% fat this and the 2% fat that and replacing it with things like almond milk or coconut milk or those kind of things, taking dairy completely out of the diet and they're seeing a lot of improvement in their skin. You have to remember that dairy today is very altered, especially in the United States. It has a lot of hormones in it. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Antibiotics and hormones, which are not really great for the body in the long term when you're exposed to those. So by taking those foods out of your diet, it can make a really, really big difference. Now, I have videos on those, wouldn't you know? So I'm gonna put a couple of links right over here for you so you can check those out. And if you like this video today, by all means, please like it, share it out so that it helps other people. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and uh, hit that little notification bell and I will see you over on the next one.